Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today's video is a look back on the 2022 Southeast Bushwhacker Meetup. It's also gonna be an opportunity for me to plug some of these upcoming meetups because they were a ton of fun and I hope to see a lot of you guys there. Now for starters, pulling into this place, what a nice surprise. Going to a new campground site on scene, you never know what you're gonna get. But what you're looking at here is actually a view from the Appalachian Trail down on the French Broad River. And you can see that whole bank line is where our rally took place. Those are actually the bushwhackers set up to camp out for this event. Those who followed along with us on our Road to the Rally series know that we had several overnight stays planned on our way to Hot Springs, North Carolina. We had the whole fiasco with the window air conditioner and it was definitely a hot trip getting here. It was such a nice surprise to find that our campsite was huge, right along the banks of the river. And even though it was wooded with some shade, there was enough of an opening there for us to take advantage of our solar. This is why we spent all of the money on the solar, the battery, the power stations. It's so we can get these nicer, larger, more secluded campsites. It looks like this time it worked out in our favor. I'm sorry. It's all good. I was actually looking forward to it. We took seven once. That works. I mean, it's going to be this in the October. Having only met before through the Facebook group or through the channel, it was a lot of fun to come together in person, just to socialize and spend some time with some like minded people. Some of these folks, including Brian here, who along with his wife Liz were responsible for organizing this event, they had been on the road for several weeks with their bushwhacker. They traveled to the West Coast gathering, they went to the Jenkins, Minnesota Flaming Alpacas, the original rally for bushwhackers, before coming back to the East Coast for the rally that they had scheduled and organized. This is the main reason why I wanted to plug this event. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm gonna update the video description for any of these teardrop festivals, gatherings, rallies that are going on. There's nothing like it. There's brand new people who literally just bought their rig the week before. There's full timers, people that travel like nomads. The exchange of ideas here is priceless. Switch and they, they close up. So we were in um, an Overland Festival and the guys that do them. Yeah. 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 It's got what nine lines. Hey, we're, getting, we're stealing your van, man! All right, so you have video. a shrimp, right? Uh, they look. I got it. Right oh, look at we're you. doing. <laughs> you guys are. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to y'all. All right, so there's a shrimp. It has a funny little tail. It's usually red. It's got little fingers here that are kind of funny. Uh, they're kind of funny. Um, so you take the tail of the shrimp, 
and you squeeze it a little bit with your fingertips like this and that releases the meat from the bottom of the tail then you kind of wiggle it a little bit and you get all the meat out of it then you throw it in the fire pit that's why mike is going to make a fire because i'm not going to sit here with the bears <laughs> Trust me. all right so then you take the toes that are in there and you rip them over to one side and it usually pulls the top of the shrimp off right you've got all this crap in your hand now go back through one more time feel if there's any toes there's no more skin you eat it yummy, yummy, yummy. there's cocktail sauce over there it's red cocktail sauce it has a little horseradish sauce oh there's another one squeeze the tail wrap it around pull it hope everything comes off like this one didn't okay, you want some perfect so. That's it. It fell apart. So I'm packing up already and I realized that I didn't show anybody my campsite or how I set up my bushwhacker. So I figured I'll do a quick video here and show you how I was set up for the hot springs rally. So the site is pretty amazing. It's on the French Broad River here. And I went with a different setup than I normally do, a little bit more elaborate. We have the Euromax. It's a bit of a mess right now, but I use two walls on the Euromax. And because I'm using the 10 by 15, I use the 10 by 10 walls. So that's a whole wall, but this one just goes three quarters of the way. So I link that up to the shower privacy tent and it holds this wall up. So pretty good setup there. I really enjoyed that. I think I'll go with that a little bit more often. This is privacy, bathroom, shower, but it's also a, a good changing room. Man, it fills out the rest of the wall on this setup. I have my solar string lights. I'm already starting to put those away. I mount the solar panel on the tongue box and those lights will go all night. Um, it's an off-grid site. So I'm using the solar on the roof to charge the battery here and run the fridge. That did great. But uh, of course I went over the top for this site. It was very hot. So I did use a series of power stations to run the air conditioner. We'll talk about that in another video. But i uh, got a little bit of a mess here. <laughs> this is Ripple's kennel. I'm hanging, uh, that's not my bathing suit. <laughs> but uh, I use hangers to dry things or just drape it over the trusses on this. Nothing too glamorous here. And that's really what it's about. So as this video winds down, I just wanna double down on the request to feel free to leave a comment plugging any of the events that you know about in this upcoming season. I'm going to read and respond to those comments, any tiny camper rallies or things for outdoor enthusiasts. I will try to update and compile that list in this video's description. So you'll have to stay tuned for updates on that. There's plenty of bushwhacker events that we know through the Facebook group. Of course, I'm going to keep those in the video description. And our rally in North Carolina this year is not bushwhacker specific. So if you want to come out in the end of July and just hang out with us, you'll be able to book those sites and we're gonna do this same thing again. I do think those campsites are filling up fast. So as always, thank you so much to everyone who watches the channel and subscribes. Uh, the supporters in particular that I'm running down the screen here, these are the people that are actually continuing to keep the channel going and making it possible for us to make more videos. So stay tuned. If you haven't seen all of the, the videos we did on the actual camper setups from this event, those are up on the channel. You can check those out and uh, stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys for watching.